Yo, what is up guys? Who is he here? Back here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make sure that Kernel never says that it's patched. And even when Roblox updates, how to always get the working version of Kernel. And pretty much how to go through those steps. And I'm going to just say right off the bat, I just woke up from a nap. Your voice sounds so tired and depressed like you guys do with all my other videos. Let me be tired, all right? So let's get right into it. All right here, so I'm in the Kernel Discord right now. As you can see, the name is working, and it also says working in the status. Um, <clears throat> so like, if Kernel's like really truly not working, it's gonna say like over here that it's not working. But if it's working and it still says patched, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. Well, like prevents it from happening in the future. Like if it already says patch, then you really like you can't revert it or nothing. But like for next week's update, it's gonna make it so that it doesn't say patched. All right, so assuming you already have kernel installed and your antivirus off and all that stuff, uh, you're gonna wanna go to Microsoft Store. And this is for Roblox UWP, keep in mind. So you're gonna wanna go over here and then like where it shows your profile thing. And then go to settings and then app updates update apps automatically you're gonna want to make sure that's off so keep that off and then you're gonna want to go for roll search for roblox right so it's gonna like say that it has an update i think there's an update button right here as you guys can see so if you have that option off then don't click the update button uh if i run my kernel right now Let me find my kernel. Yeah, so if I run, actually I don't even think it's updated. All right, so I just updated my kernel. I'm gonna hit play, and uh, I could just go into any game. Let's say Prison Life, classic. And I'm gonna inject. As you can see, kernel is not patched. Even though right now a lot of you guys are saying in the Discord, "Oh, kernel says it's patched." Well, look buddy I'm about to print right here and show you that it's not as you can see I'm printing because it's not patched it just depends on the Roblox version on your own so then now that this option is set if you're if you hit update then it's gonna it's gonna make it so that it's patched so the way that you know when to update it is in our Discord server, we're gonna like ping you and hashtag updates saying uh, kernel is updated for the latest Roblox version. And then when you get that, then you go back into Microsoft Store and then you hit update. If you hit update before that, or if you don't hit update after we update kernel, then again, it's gonna say patched. So make sure that you're staying like on the right version because that's very important. All right, so if you try both of those and then kernel still says it's patched or like you live in the uh, like somewhere in a different country or your internet service provider is blocking kernel it could also say it's patched because it isn't able to check with the website so i'm going to be showing guys like how to fix the problems that say encountered an error and then empty response and then also saying patched if the other methods don't work make sure you try the other methods first though uh, so we're back in the discord and as you can see I'm in the bot commands channel uh, You're gonna want to go into You can do tag K and then exclamation tag encountered an error and um, What you're gonna want to do is download uh, user VPN. I recommend Proton VPN or Winscribe Winscribe is definitely faster, but you only have 10 gigabytes a month for free if you use it for more than 10 gigabytes a month, then you're going to have to pay. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I recommend using this or uh, Proton. Or the other method that you could do is use the um, the zipped version of Kernel. We have this on We Are Devs. And we also have it on um, the Kernel Update server. Or you could just do tag zip. And then it's going to tell you the day that it was updated. Uh, so yeah you can use this one too if you don't know how to download this I made a video on it uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now 
And then the other option if, is if none of those work, you can click on this link right here, which will tell you how to set up, uh, how to change your DNS server so that you aren't getting blocked by your ISP. So I'll just go here. And as you can see, it sets up, it shows you like all the steps in order. And uh, if you follow this, you shouldn't have any issues. And um, also one last thing. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a kernel premium and a way to buy kernel keys or whatnot. And uh, yeah, we're working on it. Uh, we're trying to get that system underway. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a big update and uh, we have a lot of things planned for y'all. So just stay tuned, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, you know, I'm trying to help out the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for you know 4,000 subscribers. We almost have 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it, especially as I'm out here making all the videos all by myself and no editor. So yeah, I really appreciate that you guys show your support. So if you have any questions, just go to our Discord channel and ask for help. Don't ask for lobby, because I mean don't ask in lobby. If you ask in lobby, you're gonna get muted and they're gonna give you a retard role, and you don't want that. We don't want that. So just go to help with kernel here, or support videos, or FAQ, or use your help. It literally says in a million places where to ask for help. So just come in one of these and ask for help. The R staff are more than happy to help you. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video, and uh, take care.